Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking a second to stop by today. Today we are taking a look at the Rode VideoMic Go onboard camera microphone. A good quality, very simple to use, plug and play, no power necessary, nice affordable microphone as well. Now in this video we'll be taking a quick look at the VideoMic Go, how it handles some different sort of sound situations and testing it from in uh, different environments, from different distances. Now before we take the mic out for a sound test, let's have a quick look at the product with a very quick unboxing. Here it is, right out of the box. Discl disclaimer, this is not my first unboxing. I've been actually using it for a couple of weeks, but I just reboxed it so that we could do it for the video. Now, there's the microphone. Just to give you an idea of how quickly and easily this can be done, I'm just gonna Throw it on right now, plug into the side. That. And just like that, we're all set to go. Now, mounting the mic is very simple. You just slide the shock mount into the camera accessory slot and use the fastener to tighten the mount into place. Plug one end of the 3.5mm cable into the microphone and the other end into your camera's mic or headphone port. No need to adjust anything, your camera should automatically default your mic as the primary audio source. Now because it is just connected with a 3.5mm headphone jack, there's nothing stopping you from pulling the mic right off the camera, attaching a longer auxiliary type cable to it, and then pulling it in front of you and using the microphone for things like interviews or voiceovers or anything of that nature. So for just good old independent use, like vlogging or maybe independent filmmaking or shooting covers, it's a good all around, simple to use and very affordable camera microphone. So now we're just going to take the camera out into different environments with a few different soundscapes and demands and see how the microphone performs under, you know, several different shooting conditions. Okay, here we go. This is what it sounds like in a closed space, quiet room, no background noise, but no microphone. This is what it sounds like in a small, closed space, no background noise, but with the microphone. This is what it sounds like by a semi-busy street, outdoor, mild wind noise, no microphone. And this is what it sounds like by a semi-busy street, mild wind noise, but with the microphone. Obviously what's striking there is how well the microphone sort of handles wind noise, mostly attributed to that wind guard that the, uh, that the mic includes. For just like a stock windshield that's just included with the microphone, it's pretty good. I'm gonna say thumbs up for that. Just one that, uh, that comes on board the microphone stock in the box ready to go. It's pretty good and for, for just general, general vlogging use especially, Thumbs up from me. So we can say not exactly the best when you might be in an outdoor situation where you don't get to be right up next to the microphone. That's one thing that we're kind of noticing is that Proximity to the microphone is kind of key here. In general, it did block out a good good amount of the wind noise and a lot of the ambient noise and did pick up a lot more of the voice than just the camera. Still kind of muddied the sound and didn't pick up a, as much of the voice and as much and didn't focus as much of the sound as it would have. Uh, so probably would stay away from situations where you can't be up close and personal with the microphone like I am right now. This is what it sounds like in a loud gym with no microphone. And this is what it sounds like in a loud gym with the mic. It's still kind of loud. So beyond just kind of speech and vlogging and stuff like that, I also thought it'd be cool to kind of check out how this uh, microphone would pick up things like instruments. If you know, if you like to make covers and stuff like that. Here's a little comparison of on and off with my just my guitar and the acoustics of my room. So 
So as you can tell there, a lot more low end. It captures sort of those uh, slowly resonating tones and just in general just a bigger, brighter and fuller sound. Same sort of principle goes to apply to, to voice and um, instrumentation. Just the idea of just like focusing the sound and sort of blocking out a lot of the ambient noise but uh, picking up all the important sort of sounds that you want to hear. In terms of instruments and music, thumbs up for that. That's it, that's just a quick look at the Video Mic Go, a very simple, very easy way to elevate the quality of your videos, and it's just as simple as pulling it out of the box, plugging it in, and starting to record. That's the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.